Hello everybody, it's Hero Games FCW here, and today we are going to be reviewing how to obtain and use machines in the Legends mod. So I hope you guys enjoy and sit back and basically just watch the video and see how to use machines. Now this is a requested topic because some of you guys don't know how to use machines. There are some things that I did not include in the video such as a lightsaber forge, the lightsaber modifier, the Jedi holocron, the J Sith holocron, portable modular device, observatory comm link, and the galactic console. Because either they are not machines or they are not something you craft or use electronically. I mean I was debating if I should add the altar because it's not really a machine, it's an altar. But I guess I'll just go and just add it because why not? I don't, I don't expect to use it another thing. And but if you do want to know how to use the lightsaber stuff or I mean like the uh, Star Wars stuff, there will be a video down in the description below where I do explain everything about Star Wars and the machines and everything. So make sure to check that out. We also have the portable module device, which is self-explanatory. I use it on my videos. Observatory comlink just basically teleports you to space. That's how you craft it. And the Galactic Console is in space, which you can watch my space video about how to get to space in the Legends mod. And I'll be able to linking that in the description below as well if you want to check that out. Now guys, let's get going into the video. So first of all, let's start off with the basics. Uh, the back computer. Uh, basically how you turn on the back computer is if you shift and right click. No, no, no. That's not how you turn it. That's how you turn it off, guys. Alright, so just right click it. And then boom, it opens up. Now if you want to turn it off, shift and right click it. And that's how you turn off the back computer. And then this is basically another back computer. Just right click it. And then, you know, open it. Uh, shift, right click, and then turn it off. So, yeah, guys. Basically how it is. Pretty simple. And in the back computer, how you basically use the back computer is however you freaking want. <laughs> basically. You know, if you all go over here, you hit open to certain people. It tells you their weaknesses. tells you about them. Uh, about the character so hope you guys uh, enjoy that it's basically just tells you about the character all right guys so i'm back sorry about that something happened with my game i think it was a little bug and let's move on so we have of course we got on over this so you know the weaknesses everything open if you want to see how it goes desktop to just like reset it and now we can also call lucius fox our friend if you want to get for examples in your inventory batarangs which cost five tokens explosive batarangs seven tokens and so on you know you can buy tokens here our shurikens explosive gel gun everything here if you want some of that cool stuff you can just get it here you know tokens you just hit buy I don't have any tokens so I cannot do that and you can also analyze so if we put this right here for example we can analyze what we have and yeah uh, you know we can have durability shows durability enchantability the sharpness of everything what it can do flammability sharpness hardness all that cool little crappy doodles <laughs> but yeah guys let's move on so we have the back computer but we also have the other back computer of course which i'm basically showing off right and it's basically the same thing you know how to craft this one is basically you just uh get three black iron blocks one monitor uh, two wing tech two black iron plates basically how you get this back computer and you know this one's the same basic thing except this one has uh, three black iron blocks, two wing tech, uh, t one monitor, and two titanium plates. So if you want to check that out, make sure you do uh, to craft it. Now we're going to break it because we have no use for this. Bye Felicia. Let's move on. So now guys, let's move on to the cool stuff. Which in fact, I'm going to do the stuff that doesn't require the electronics because the electronics is more of a system. So first of all, let's get on to the Stark Workbench, which is basically going to require you to have, uh, I go over this in my legacy video, so I'm not going to go in depth on this. Really, all the machine really offers the info, tells you what the suit can do, what the abilities are, and that's all I'm really going to go over because the rest is legacy. If you want to check out the legacy stuff, it's all going to be in the description below, so ch make sure to check that out, guys, and hope you guys enjoy that. And yeah, so let's break this because there's not much we can go over there. So yeah. And let's move on to the altar, which is where you get all the horror suits. Now, the horror suits are a key element of the mod. Uh, so you can also get the horror legacy, of course, here, which I also go over in the legacy video. So here, obviously, you go to characters. You can get all these awesome characters here. The soul well. Now, how the soul well works is every time you kill a passive mob in the mod or like one with a soul, You'll be able to get one soul 
and you'll be able to eventually obtain a horror character. Now all these horror characters are tier 6 so they are really good especially for fighting players. Well mostly for fighting players of course. And it assess essence harvesting which I assume you need to, I think this is how you actually get the souls. I forgot, I have no idea, this, this has recently just been added so I'm a little confused as well. You know, here's the legacy stuff, I won't be going over that because you know that's in the legacy video down below. And yeah, so basically the horror machine is not much more to go over here. You can sacrifice, which is basically you get the all the souls you have and sacrifice it to the, the DD apparently. And yeah, basically the altar guys. Now we move on to the microscope. So the microscope is pretty self-explanatory. You you craft the microscope. It basically needs a microscope base, a microscope illuminator, a block of iron. It needs a microscope arm, a microscope stage. Uh, two microscope tubes. That's basically how you get the microscope. And by I'm in the microscope at the moment, it's basically if you just put in the spider tissue sample, which crafts pin particles. I don't believe there's more. If there is, I'll update you, uh, I'll update you guys in the future. But for now, it's, that's really all I really know about this thing. There will be more in the future, I'm sure. But for now, it's, that's really all I know about the pin particle crap. So yeah, guys, hope you guys like this cool little microscope aesthetic. And yeah, let's move on to the actual machines now. Now the machines are a little more complex than usual. I actually had to re-record this video uh, right after the the like the cut. I actually had because I was recording the video, and then when I was just done with the video, I noticed that I wasn't recording. So I basically had to redo all of this. So yeah, I, I wasn't gonna do it, but I was like, you know what? I have to get that video out. So I did it, guys. And now let's move on. So everything is already powered because I put a nether star in here. The bees, everything will not work. If you place this down, for example, it will not work. If you right click this, it will not work. Now to make it work, you are going to in fact need the generator, which you can put uh, this stuff in here. So if you put a coal in there, it's going to power it for two seconds. If you put a nether star in there, it's going to power it for 24 hours, which is basically one day. And so let's say uh, I get another generator because I do need that. So the generator is right here. I can right click it. It's not powered. If it is powered, you'll see this right here. And when the red bar goes to zero, you'll obviously see that. Uh, so let's compare this for a second. So let's say I put a coal in here, right? It's going to be two seconds and it's done. Two seconds, it's done. Two seconds is done. But if I put another star in here and it consumes it, but then we'll have it for 24 hours. So it's worth it. Let's put cables in here. Cables are basically the redstone of the machinery here. And there's also another thing which is the electronic, or what's, what's this thing Majabi called? The electronic repeater which is basically a redstone repeater in the sense of cables. Uh, so they're the uh, redstone repeaters of redstone. So they're like the electronic repeaters of cables. That's basically what I gotta say about this. So basically if you go 15 blocks wide, the cables won't be able to function with the machines out here so for example if I have uh, I think I might have to get it one more block out uh, so let's get this one right here if I put this out right here oh wait it's still working question mark have I been lied to there it is okay so if you have it out right here it's not going to work but if I put a electronic repeater right here oh question mark question mark I am Confucius well uh Let's uh, move on. I have no idea what. All right, guys. I'm going to update you guys this on the future. I think it's because of the new... Oh, I, maybe Taiho hasn't updated yet. Because the Legends mod has currently just been updated. And I don't know if he forgot to add this machinery or this, uh, you know, this thing. So I'll, I'll see what I can do for you guys. Maybe it's just a little bug right now or it's just not finished. But that's what it's supposed to do. That's the like mechanic of the electronic repeater. So I guess that's a bug that I'll be reporting to Taiho quite soon. So hopefully we, that can be fixed. And well, I mean, I really don't need it right now because it's 15 blocks wide and everything's connected. So it's fine. Let's move on, guys. So we have, of course, now obviously we get the cables out. We put this right here. We attach it and attach it. Oh, wait, hold on. I have an idea. Uh, because it also has to be like straight like redstone. So there we go. Okay, now it works And now that that's done now it's powered obviously now I can right-click it that works That's the metahuman power unit, which I do go over in my legacy video. So there's no point of going over it right now 
And yeah, let's move on. So now that we went over the metahuman power unit, which I mean the, the generator and the cables and hopefully the eventually electronic repeater, we can uh, try to move on. So now the symbio, of course, the symbio machine is pretty self-explanatory. It needs to be powered as well. All, all of these things that I'm about to show you needs to be powered by the generator. Uh, let's get a symbiote for example put this in here and that's basically how you do it uh, then you jack you know legacy stuff mutate it do what you want with it and yeah now obviously this isn't the legacy video so I'm not gonna really go over it but obviously if you want to you know become a legacy and stuff like that make sure to check out the video below which explains how to become a legacy and all that good uh, snazz so let's move on to the repair unit which is pretty self-explanatory repairs your suit so for example, if my suit was at 198 durability, you'd be able to repair it for a cost of tokens. Now, the, the problem with this is that, so if you have 999 durability, it's going to cost way less, for example, if you have 198 durability. So it depends on how much uh, durability your armor has. So my durability has, it's full right now, so I won't be able to repair it, I won't be able to do anything with it because it's full. But if it gets one down or something, it'll be going, you know, the price will keep going up and up depending on how much durability you've been taking. So yeah, guys, basically what I say about the super repair unit, you know, tokens. If you do want a video on tokens and how to use tokens and what tokens are about, because I'm sure I'm just saying tokens. You guys are like, hey, say that again, what's a token? So yeah, guys, uh, if you guys want to see a video on what a token is and like what tokens are, Make sure to comment that down below and I'll make like a little review on what tokens are and with the currency in the mod. Now let's move on to the uh, suit repair unit which is really essential in the superheroes mod because you know this is how you get all the superhero suits, all the supervillain suits and yeah. So let's go in here so for example if I wanted to craft a uh, reverse flash I'd have to get these materials in my inventory the reverse flash logo, the yellow fabric red stain leather and red lightning stone block I need that in my inventory along with 43,000 tokens and then I can hit the craft button obviously I have armor on right now which can't do it and I have no tokens or those materials so I won't be able to craft it but if I did I would be able to craft it. obviously if you hit this right here too you can see how the model looks like I actually modeled the reverse flash comic model so yeah, yeah cool and now we have info uh, you know, this is basically if you want to see what the character does, if you don't want to use a portable module device, and it just tells you how what the character can do, his special, his immunities, his weaknesses, and everything about him. Now we go to characters. So, for example, if I want his alt, I'll go to alt, and there's a CW alt, which I can also see right here. And basically, you know, it's same thing craft it, or is it order? I think order is just. Alright, hold up. I think how this works, right, right. So if I go info, for example, no, no, alt. I want to go back to the order screen. I just wait, hold up. Eh, order. Okay. Oh, never mind. I think that's for alt. The order button's for alt. I'm sorry. I'm still confused by this whole order thing. Like I'm like what? <laughs> sorry about that, guys. But yeah, no, that's basically how it is. Uh, you know, it's self-explanatory. If you want the alt, you know, you just this is all the Batman alts right now. You can just hit craft. That's how it's done. And then, you know, that's basically how it is. Legacy is if you want to craft the Legacy Armor, which I do recommend you obtain. Because without it, you are kind of screwed, man. I mean, you can craft it. You must not be wearing any armor. I don't think it's for free, is it? Hold on. Uh, Legacy. This. Craft. Insufficient funds. So, I, I guess you do need uh, stuff in your inventory. Oh, yeah. It costs 125 tokens for the whole entire suit. So, yeah, guys. I don't have 125 tokens though, so I won't be able to craft this. Uh, hold up, there we go, there we go. Oh, the suit right here. And yeah, I don't have 125 tokens, so I won't be able to craft it. But if you do want it, just hit craft and you'll be able to get it. Self-explanatory, guys. And that's basically, you know, everything machine in the Legends mod. There is some the machines I did not mention, of course, which I think I've gone over in the beginning of the video. I don't know because I reset this video, remember? <laughs> so I've done this video twice. So if I haven't, remember, these are machines I have not gone over. They're not machines, but they are important. Uh, so yeah guys that's all I'm going to be going over in this video of course the galactic console I do go over in another video the space video I'll be leaving that description below if you want to check out how to use the observatory com link and the galactic console and the portable module device I use it in every video you know it tells me what the abilities the people have that the, the suit I have on right now or what legacy abilities I have on 
And, you know, this is all the Star Wars stuff, which I have a video as well on how to use the Star Wars stuff. So, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope this helped you use the Legends mod in a new way. So, you guys know how to use it. You guys know how to use the machines, know how to use everything. Obviously, the legacy stuff is in the description below. If you guys want to know how to use the token stuff, make a comment and I will be doing that as well. I do you do uh, polls in the my uh, community tab on my channel. So if you guys do want to vote on my polls on what video I should upload next or what's just going on, you know what I'm saying, some chill things about which MCU movie is better. But yeah, guys, just comment that down below uh, what, you, what you guys want to see next and hope you guys have a good time. Also, I'm going to do this little thing. So if you did watch through the video entirely, this is how I know the dedicated fans out there. If you did watch the video entirely, say uh, uh, cool beans in the comment section. That's how I'll know if there's some true fans out there. But yeah, guys, see you guys next time. Eh, wait, hold up, hold up. I get my Spidey suit. Spidey on, my dudes. See you next time. Konnichiwa.